all right so from the last video uh, what we have seen is we have this null propagation er error right so which we were facing with this entity framework core and that was this ef was not supporting at that particular moment right and uh, so we had certain other issues as well right so while figuring out right so uh, what i thought is like because if i just uh, get rid of this navigation property but we have this in, in inside this product uh, repository like so in that case it will be a straightforward like uh, uh, how we have for these two uh, thing here right so it's simply returning this via this set operation itself and even this can do the same thing uh, which we are trying to retrieve that one right so although this else is not required we can get rid of that and um, this uh, this thing also uh, we can simply return this uh, whatever entity is coming here so these things are uh, like that like uh, whatever is given to you you can just do improvisation on top of that or you can ask you know to refactor the code as well to chat gpt as well so it can do that so these two, two are a straightforward call because this is just going to get the products data and uh, you know the types data based on the type which is getting substituted here but in this call, uh, since we have this navigation property and hence the problem and that's why this expression is included and this expression is going to take the query itself, right? So that is what it is uh, having that, right? So inside the loop, first of all, what we are doing here is like, uh, you know, it's add each expression to the queries, right? Include method and, you know, which specifies related entities uh, which needs to be loaded with the main entity. So, you know, that... Uh, this line right so what we are doing here like line number 27 it's basically uh, executes the query to retrieve the entity with the specified id itself and then it is uh, <clears throat> just executing the query uh, with that you know what we have this the query which we have you know created and this makes sense to delegate this query to some other pattern itself uh, maybe uh, we can do some kind of a specification as well we can check with chat gpt on top of that itself but this is how when you are doing generic repository pattern right and which includes that you know the query which you already have uh, for that as well like uh, uh, which has the navigation property as well so this becomes little complex there so in the next video what we are doing to, uh, going to try is we are just going to try with our uh, few other bits of this and that few other bits is like basically into that including into that product controller with that particular repository generic repository and then we'll try to you know simplify this uh, with via this generic repository itself and we'll see that how it works basically so let's jump to that you know the next video itself